Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ala. Today I am working on the last of the Powder Bronzer Video Marathon and today's featured bronzer is the Jellyfish Hourglass Palette Bronzer and I will use the whole palette and I'll show you what it looks like on kind of bare skin and then I will swatch it on my arm. I will create this look with this bronzer and all my thoughts included. So please stay tuned and enjoy the video. And I'm going to start my base with this Beauty of Joseon SPF, kind of as a primer. This is my last video for the powder bronzers. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. And I hope that it's been helpful. I was thinking of also doing this with blushes and just like going through every single blush one by one and having like a focus on blushes and how they like sit on um, olive skin. I can build it up, I can tone it down just to make blushes look their very best. I was just kind of thinking that that would be a kind of a cool idea to do next. This is the Era Perez Oat Milk Foundation in the color Latte. And then I just go in kind of right away with the Latte Concealer. This is the Air Pros. The Air Pros Concealer in the same shade, Latte. Again, this is a really nice lightweight, kind of like an under eye brightener style where if you don't need a whole lot of coverage, this is really nice. It feels really nice. You do have to set it because it does, it's not one that lasts all day. So I set it with a powder that kind of is, maybe has a little bit of coverage itself, like a foundation if I need it to stay on, like with that slight coverage, that light coverage that it has. I set it with like a powder foundation and that works just fine. And then just do touch-ups throughout the day if I need it. Use this sponge and just kind of tap in the product to blend it in a little more smoothly. There we go. The base looks nice and fresh and dewy. I will set the under eye with this Laura Mercier powder. Just use a small little brush. I'm gonna tap in some into the cap. This is just the translucent powder. I'll go in with my brow pencil. Just do that right now. And then I'll do the bronzer. This is just my Nature Republic brow pencil in medium or three, I think it's a number. And just kind of pencil it in. Brush it through and it kind of just brushes itself and sets itself into a nice shape. pretty good quick and simple and now for the bronzer this is the the last bronzer that I was going to show and the brush I'm going to use is going to be a fluffy one which is my favorite so I'm using a fluffy brush for this bronzer here I'll do half my face so you can see this is the Jellyfish palette. It's the lightest palette that they have. I'm just gonna do half the face and then show you what the bronzer looks like on half the face. This is my favorite brush to use for a bronzer. 
and for blush because it has that diffusing quality about it. You can pack it into where you want it to be packed in, but then it also kind of diffuses around the edges all on its own. All right, so here's the bronzer. Nothing on this side and then bronzed on this side. It just has, it creates such a great kind of, not, not contoured, but dimension to the face. And the, the color is, it's okay, it's pretty. I think I like the formula more than I like the color. And I like the first hourglass bronzer that I showed in a previous video a lot more than this bronzer in this palette but I think that it works fine enough and I don't build it up too crazy much so that it doesn't look natural so I don't mind it but I do love this palette I use it quite often in fact like when I'm going somewhere I like these products that are all together I'll just finish up the rest of the face The, the thing that I maybe hesitate to like about it is it it is a little bit on my olive skin tone. It kind of tends to go a little bit orangey and it's just enough that it's not my favorite bronzer color. I love the powder formula itself. It's really, really beautiful. The the way that it glides on effortlessly, it really does blend itself out. It lasts all day, looks beautiful, flattering, all that. It's just the shade, the color is a bit off for my skin tone. If I tanned, it kind of just turns tan. I don't burn and the orange just, I don't know when that ever looks natural. I turn more golden than I do orange or even red. I'm gonna go into the same palette and use this little bright red just for the the cheek here. I just flipped over the brush and used the other side. I'll save the cool toned that berry blush for another look. This one's gonna be a little bit more of a, a brighter blush. And then the highlight in this as well, It's this highlight is so pretty, so beautiful and glowy. I, I just absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I like there's, that there's like a bit of pink in that, in that highlighter. I mean, that's just so beautiful. I'll just use another little brush and use the powders in here, the finishing powders. Just kind of sweep it over the whole, whole face. I go to both. I'm using both of these setting powders just to kind of diffuse the whole rest of the look. The base is looking really, really pretty. I'm using the Hourglass Lip Liner in Tempt 3. So I'm gonna use this one again because it's one of the new liners. I noticed that with these liners, really, and maybe most of the high-end lip liners is you kind of want to give it a few minutes for it to dry down, like really dry and set down. And then when you go in and apply a lip gloss or a lipstick, the lip liner is more likely to stay all day. 
But if you go right away and mix formulas like lip liner and then seconds later put on something else, and then you go and eat the formulas, the chemicals kind of mix together, and it's not going to like bond to your lips like separately as the lip liner and then it ends up getting eaten away or drank away or or just smudged away throughout the day a lot sooner in fact so if you let the lip liner set then it's going to last all day as kind of like a contour and as it fades away then it, you're left with like a more of a subtle contour which is still really pretty I'm using this Lisa Eldridge uh, lip lipstick in Dance Card. This is one of my favorites. Someone's little fingers got in there and kind of smushed it. This is such a beautiful kind of a coral pink. I love these kind of shades. Again, these lucent, luxuriously lucent lipsticks from Lisa are my favorite. The matte ones, they, they dry up my lips. I have them and I use them. I use them regularly, but these are definitely the best. I'm usually a matte <laughs> lip kind of girl, but, um, but that particular formula is a little drying. For the eyes, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury, the Golden Goddess Quad. This is it. I'm gonna go and create a simple little look. I'll use the light, the lightest shade as an all over prime. This light shade right there. And then this second one is just to enhance it's called the enhance shade and i'm using my favorite makeup by mario brush i'm gonna use the other side of my brush and put that same enhance shade down below I love that this palette has a cool tone look to it and it looks absolutely very flattering on on Olive's skin. This was a really good find. The next one is going to be this golden, kind of a golden bronze for like smoking out and creating a little bit more depth. So I'm going to do that in the crease and then down, bring it down to the lash line to kind of create that eye shape that I want. Then I'll add the, the shimmer right on top of that. Such a pretty color. This bronzy color is so, so pretty and so flattering. Now the last one is that pop. The fourth one is that shimmery one. So I'm just gonna use my finger and tap it all over the lid. These quads are so beautiful. I really, really love using them since i'm definitely an eyeshadow lover absolutely love these eyeshadows because they're so easy to use and they look so pretty once you put them on it's like they all come together in the end kind of like a painting you have to trust the process and then all of a sudden you look like a charlotte tilbury model in the end the last thing i'm gonna do is add some eyeliner this is just the essence brown i think it's in hot chocolate 
just a soft brown liner to define the, the eyes. I'll fix that. And this to the lower lash line. All right, perfect. The last thing I will do is use this Clinique mascara. And this is the makeup, the face all done. I'm just going to spray my face here really quick. This is the, the Hourglass Jellyfish Bronzer. And I'll swatch it on my arm just so I don't forget. There it is, and then if I diffuse it, that's what it looks like. I really enjoy using this palette. I enjoy using the bronzer. The way that the formula works, that it's so soft and so blendable, so user-friendly, is the reason I gravitate towards it, even though the color is not my favorite. And I'm pretty picky with colors because I have olive skin. I mean, I'm pretty picky with colors. And until like I find a color that looks accurate and natural on the face, um, any bronzer will not really do. So I, I'm not gonna just not use it because I do enjoy this powder formula so much. The blushes are absolutely beautiful. The other powders, like I'm not talking about the other stuff. Obviously it's, they're wonderful. This whole, like the powder formula of Hourglass is absolutely beautiful. The bronzer is really, really nice. Like I said, user-friendly. This palette in all together is expensive just as is any Hourglass formula and product. If the color works for you and say you're not on like the yellow side of, of olive, maybe you have a little bit of that orange in your skin, this might actually work perfectly because I tend to go a little bit more towards the golden and then even like the pinker bronzers um, because I'm like neutral, so pink, anything pink related is also pretty. Then I have other bronzers that have a little bit more pink in there that I gravitate towards. This one doesn't have the pink and it doesn't have the slight golden that say perhaps the the lightest color in Charlotte Tilbury. That one does have a little bit of golden, so I, I do enjoy that one a little bit more. I would recommend this if so if you guys test the, the color out on your own skin and you see that it's flattering, I, I would absolutely recommend the, the bronzer and the brand. It's so beautiful. And those are my overall thoughts on bronzers. I hope that you guys have enjoyed my bronzer, powder bronzer videos. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you. I will see you guys next time. Bye.